It is gonna be a clear and to the point tutorial and I won't waste your time so let's jump into it. First up, if you don't already have Audacity, you can download it from the link in the description below. Load the song or any audio track you want to remove vocals from. Here I have this track. Now there are two methods to remove vocals. Press Shift M or click on this audio track drop down menu and click on split stereo to mono. Now you can see our track is split into two channels, right and left. Double click on any channel to select it, head to effects and here click on inward. And that's it. So here's how it was before applying the effect. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. And here is after applying the effect. Now it might not work for every song and might not give you the best result but it's worth a shot. So how really this effect works is when we apply it to one track and that track is mixed with another uninverted track that has identical audio, the identical audio is cancelled out. With that said, this will only work for those songs in which the right and left channels contain equal amounts of the exact same vocals but unequal amounts of background instruments. Moving on to the second method. This one's more effective and advanced and it's really easy. So double click on the audio track to select it, head to effects, scroll all the way down and click on vocal reduction and isolation. A dialog box like this will pop up. Click on the action drop down menu and select remove vocals. Now I'm gonna go with the default settings but if they don't work for you, you can play around with them to get your desired result. So here's how it was before applying the effect. And here's after applying the effect. Now you can tell there is a big difference among the first method and the second one. The second one's given a better result, unlike the first method that's taken away all the crisp from the audio. So in my opinion, this one's more effective, but you can try both of them to see which works best for your audio. So that was it for this video and if you want to know how you can record high quality voice in Audacity, you can check out my video about this up here. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you want to stay in touch. And I'll see you in the next one.